Now, when it comes to amputee football, Ghana's national team ranks with Argentina, Brazil, and others. Uh, the players are now getting ready for their next big matchup in Mexico. Uh, viewers, Laura Bowman has the story. Ghana's national amputee football team is getting ready to compete in a World Cup of its own. The event takes place in Mexico later this year, but the team will need to garner interest in this particular type of soccer because it needs to raise money to go. Because we love it, so there's nothing we can do. So we have to do it. We have to do it. So we pray that the corporate bodies and the government to come to our head and then support us because we are also human. Ghana's Black Challenge, as the team calls itself, started officially in 2007. And that same year, the team won the first Cup of African Nations for amputee football. The team came in sixth in the 2012 World Cup held in Russia, and in last year's Nairobi-based games, the team placed third. Here's one of their fans. I think it's tedious because they have to use their arms and then their legs. <clears throat> but I think they're really good, they're really good. Yeah. They put in a lot of effort to play the game. Black Challenge coaches will hold trials in Ghana's two largest cities in August, choosing a squad from new recruits and returning team members for the tournament in November. The trip to Mexico will cost about $200,000, so far, the team has raised a little over 20000 Laurel Bowman, VOA News. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.